Welcome back to the second video in Brave Dojo's intro to Nalsec series. In the previous video, we went over how the how to get the standard ZTACS overview installed. In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at each of the overview tabs, the information they contain, and how best to use them. So to get started, that first tab is the one with the airplane symbol. This is your travel tab. This tab is primarily used for when you're in a crowded system and you're having trouble locating a specific celestial object, being a station or a stargate, that you need to warp to. Um, you would use this tab, find the thing you want to warp to, you warp to it, and then immediately bounce back to you with your default tab. Your default tab is going to be your second tab. Whenever you're not using another tab actively, you should be defaulting to this one. On your combat tab, it's going to be basically the same as your travel tab. However, what this tab will also show you is enemy players. So it will show you neutral and or hostile players. If you're in NullSec, you need to assume that all neutral players are hostile. Your next tab is your target tab. This target tab, by default, it uh, will be showing drones. So it's very good for um, s purely spotting enemy drones, which don't show up on your combat tab. And if you were fighting a drone boat and you needed to defang it by killing its drones, you could use this. If you needed to select another target, this is where you can find a very specific type of target. So all you do is right click on the tab, go to load preset to tab, and then from the targets list you'll see a whole bunch of different other types of targets. If for example you're an EWAR player and you need to apply uh, electronic warfare to enemy logistics, you could use target logistics. And then only enemy lottery targets would show up in this window. The next tab over is your miscellaneous tab. This is going to be your looting and salvaging tab. So after the fight's over, if you need to pick some stuff up from dead enemies, you can do it from here. This would also be the tab that you would use for your general PvE. So mining, routing, that sort of thing. Just right click on it, load preset to tab, and then choose from the PvE options here. Next tab over is your friendly tab. So your friendly tab is good for getting a quick idea of other friendly ships that are on grid with you. So unlike the, or very similar to the combat tab that shows hostiles and neutrals, the friendly tab will not show hostiles and neutrals and will only show friendlies. So if you need to take a quick look at who's on grid to make sure that you have the right firepower to deal with a threat, this is where you would want to do it. And last but not least is your warp out tab. So your warp out tab will show you celestial objects, which are things out in space that you can warp to, that are generally located within clusters. A cluster is a group of celestial objects that are stacked on one another. The reason that this is useful is because if you're being chased and you're trying to get away to a safe place, you'll want a warp out that's more difficult to follow. For example, at the three taco gate over here, there's several things that are all in this cluster. So you have the Stargate, you have the Customs Office, the Planet, and the Asteroid Belt. If I saw someone warp off to that cluster and I was chasing them, I would assume they went to the 3 Taco Gate, because chances are that's where they went. However, if they're trying to evade me and went to the planet, they would probably get away, because they would not land on the gate when I was expecting them to. And so that's the basics of how to use each of these tabs. In the next video, we're going to go over uh, some basic UI optimizations to add some additional intel to your daily life in EVE. And then we will continue on from there.